Heavenly Father, grant us each day the desire to do our best in school. Cover us with your enduring love, grace, confidence, and perseverance. Fill our hearts with enthusiasm to grow not only physically and mentally, but morally as well. Help our teachers to maintain their utmost dedication and patience in order to guide us and understand our individual uniqueness. Bless our parents for their continued love and support in every step of our learning journey. Bless also our school, Probex School, as it continues to provide quality education that holistically educates our hearts and minds. This we pray in your most powerful spirit, Almighty God. Amen. Hi, this is Sir Lloyd, your teacher in contemporary Philippine arts from the regions. And in this video, we will discuss another lesson. And that is the subject of art. To create your own contemporary piece, you must fully understand what makes an artwork a true work of art. You must first explore the subject of art. A song may contain lyrics of devotion directed to a certain person. A novel may talk about the results of a war. A painting may show a scene in nature. Generally speaking, the subject or topic is any person, animal, thing, or issue that is described or presented in a work. It usually generates the question, what is it? Because people expect to see or hear subjects that they can recognize or are familiar to them. Subject versus Theme Subject is different from theme or content. Theme is the recurring idea or element in a work of art. The theme refers to the ideas, thoughts, and feelings of the artist. Everything under the sun is considered a subject in the arts. In visual design, artworks with subjects that are recognizable are called realistic, representational, or objective art. Those that are not recognizable are non-representational or non-objective art. In visual design, there are different ways or styles of depicting a subject. Get to know these styles through the works of art of various Filipino contemporary artists. First is Realism. In Realism, the subject is done the way it actually looks. Example of this is this painting entitled Bridal White by Araceli Dance. As what you notice, it is very realistic and is done the way it actually looks. The second is Distortion. In Distortion, the artist uses his or her imagination and alters the subject according to his or her desire. Example of this is this painting entitled Ang Unang Paglalakbay by Ricky Ambagan. The third is Abstraction. In Abstraction, the artist breaks apart a subject and rearranges it in a different manner. Example of this is this painting entitled The Fisherman by Ang Kyukok. The fourth and last is non-objectivism. In non-objectivism, there is totally no subject at all, just an interplay of pure elements like line, shapes, colors, and so on. Example of this is this untitled painting by Robert Chabot. Some subjects in the visual arts that continue to be favored are still life, landscapes, genre scenes, portraits, and Philippine fiestas and landmarks. Additional subjects are those concerning superstitions and the supernatural. Always remember that a subject or topic is any person, animal, thing, or issue that is described or presented in a work. We have four different ways or style of depicting a subject. We have realism, distortion, abstraction, and non-objectivism. And that's it for this video. I hope that you learn and had fun at the same time. See you on our next lesson. Bye!